Hello, YouTube. It's 0x11. Kind of like that intro. I used it last time, too. Kind of sounds like a deflating balloon. That's my voice. Hello! It's kind of like high to low. It's nice. I don't know. I like it for some reason. Uh, anyways, I have a lot to talk about today, so I should probably not dawdle, which means uh, slow things down or procrastinate, I guess. I think that's about right. Uh, and uh, if you guys didn't watch my last video, I told you guys to send me in uh, a bunch of questions and I would answer all of them in this video. Now, I was not expecting this large plethora of, I'm like a dictionary today, I'm doing so well with my words, of questions, but you did. And now, uh, as, as I advertised, I will answer every single one of them to the best of my ability and I hope that it helps you guys out so without further ado I give you every answer you need to know I think I don't know the meaning of life though so don't ask me that because I'm I'm still trying to figure it out myself but um one of the questions I got was from this guy he's in this medical class and they're doing um, temperatures on one another and they have to do it from uh, three holes I really am terrible with wording, by the way. But uh, they're doing it from the ear hole, the mouth hole, and uh, the butt hole. And uh, he, he's okay with the mouth and the, the ear. Uh, it, it came down to the butt hole where uh, he started to feel maybe a little butt shy. And uh, I don't blame him. That's, that's a little awkward to, uh, you know, whip out the anus hole and uh, show it to the class and have them stick a thermometer in it. So my answer and suggestion to you is simply just tell them that you are allergic to the material that the thermometer is made out of and uh, you don't want a rash in your anal cavity. And I think that should be able to get you out of uh, some uh, displeasure or maybe pleasure. I think it would be more pleasure if you ask me. If, if you're talking to me, um, uh, of the butt. So I hope that helps you out. Now, another guy asked me, uh, what do I know about Sweden? And to be honest with you, I don't know anything about Sweden. I, I just know it's a country. And I think the flag, I could be wrong, is blue and yellow. I could be wrong, but I, I think so. And uh, there was also another question, uh, what country would I like to visit and why? Actually, I don't, I don't think they asked me why, but I'm going to say that he did so I can answer this question. Uh, I would say Sweden. That way I can answer uh, the, the last guy's question. That's why. That's why I would visit Sweden. See how that all worked? Just, I'm a very, very witty person. Okay, so next question. Uh, how big is my penis? Uh, that's a good question. I, I feel like everybody should be asked that question. So to answer your question, uh, I would have to say big because when I watch a KYR Speedy video, uh, in the beginning of his videos, he says uh, thumbs up the video if you have a large penis and I thumbs it up all the time. So I must have a large, big penis. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, another guy asked me, uh, actually, I don't know if it's a guy, could be a girl. What am I looking for in a guy? And uh, I think I made it pretty clear in my last video, I'm not a raging homosexual. Uh, but I'm assuming that you're looking for an answer. So I would have to say, what am I looking for in a guy? Wow, that's a tough question. I would have to say, uh, me. Nothing gay about that. Uh, moving on. What's my dream boyfriend? I don't know where all these gay questions are coming from, but, um, wow. I really don't know. I'm just going to go with, um, let's go with Adam Lambert. He's a good looking chick. Uh, let's see, my favorite sports, uh, in high school I played football, I was a cornerback, a wide receiver, and a running back, or tailback, or flanker, or whatever, they had so many different names for those positions, but, uh, that's what I played, um, I played in between those three positions, uh, just depending on where they felt like putting me during the game. So I, I really like football. I, uh, I like basketball. I was actually probably better at basketball. I have a funny basketball story, but I feel like I'm wasting so much time. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Syracuse, like the university, obviously, and uh, their basketball team. But uh, there was a guy named Jerry McNamara that uh, played on that team when Carmelo Anthony was there, and they won the national championship. I actually played three-on-three three with uh, against Jerry McNamara before um, at the YMCA uh, near where he lives because he played for Bishop Hannon, which is not too far from where I'm at. And uh, our team actually ended up beating him, and I had to cover him. 
So, I guess what I'm saying is I should probably be in the NBA. That's that's what I'm summing it up as. So, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. I also like golf. I only like to play golf, though. Don't make me watch golf. It makes me cry and my penis droops. I don't know why I said that. That was that was very odd. Anyways, uh, what type of girl do I go for? Um, I guess I would have to say uh, the type of girl that's like my girlfriend. Uh, my girlfriend's pretty awesome. She's hot and smart, which is just not something that... It's just rare. It's like a unicorn, my friends. A unicorn. Okay, so let's see. I have a list here. I actually wrote up a list. First time I ever wrote anything for a commentary, so... Um, somebody asked me, why must I cry? And uh, I honestly don't know why you're crying. I can't tell you that. You know, maybe you're emotionally unstable, or maybe you need to talk to a psychiatrist. But um, why you cry is actually to cleanse uh, your eyes, because tears are the best cleanser for your eyes. So that's actually why you cry, because inside your eyes can get dirty. So that's why you cry, if you're looking for the scientific reason. If you're looking for the emotional reason, I have no freaking clue. really don't. Uh, somebody asked me if they can marry me. Uh, unfortunately, no, because that's weird. And I'm assuming you're probably a dude. That's what I'm assuming. 99.8%, I think I said, are dudes. Oop, there goes a burp. Uh, TV shows? Um, no, it's tough. Um, you know what TV show I really liked back in the day was uh, Prison Break. And then they took that off, and I thought that was a good show. Um, now, I, you know, Sports Center every, every Sunday, man, after after football. Or maybe it's Monday. I don't know. Uh, so that's that's what I'm going to say for that. My first job, somebody asked me. I was a vet technician, uh, which was basically caring for animals. And I actually learned how to take blood there. And uh, then I realized I could probably just take blood on people and make more money for it. So uh, I got greedy, went back to school for that, and learned how to take blood on people. Which wasn't that hard because taking blood on a dog is much harder than taking blood on a person. Just in case if you were wondering and you wanted to get in that profession. There's no pay in it whatsoever. Um, they also asked what it was like. It was underpaying. That's the best way to describe that. If you wrote a book, what would it be about? Vaginas. I would love to write a book about vaginas. What was my worst purchase that I've ever bought of something? Uh, back when CD burners first came out, they weren't, like, included in, uh, computer towers. Well, they were, but they were, like, I don't know, $2,500 to buy a computer. So I actually bought a CD burner for 600 bucks, and, uh, that is by far the worst purchase that I can ever imagine anybody, uh, having ever in the history. Anybody that bought a CD burner when they looked like DVD players, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's, that's a freaking terrible purchase. Never, you should never have done that. And that's what I said to myself, and that's what I'm saying to myself now. Uh, what reality show would I go on and why? I'd probably go on the Jersey Shore, because I would be a very odd fit there. That's why. And I think I could, I think I could do some clubbing. What's up? What's up, guys? Want to go to the club? Want to go to Karma? Is that what you want to do? We can go to Karma. So, I would, I'd have to say that. Um, let's see, next question, Snapple, Snapple iced tea or a hooker with bad breath? Well, I'm assuming that the hooker has bad breath because she was drinking a Snapple iced tea, so let's go, let's take the two for one and say the hooker. All right, somebody asked me how my job search was going. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am losing my job at the end of February, which sucks anus donkey, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do really don't um so they want to know how i'm doing with the job search and to be honest with you i'm kind of holding out i'm kind of a holdout right now just holding out and uh seeing what happens because there's a lot of rumors going around that they might open something in town and uh i want to be there for it i do because i don't want to travel uh, a, a bunch of ways to to get to work like every morning that just sucks so um yeah kind of hoping they open it up something in town so hope that answers that question somebody asked me what's my middle name i don't even think you guys know my first name uh so i'm just gonna say my middle name is x zero x 11 x is my middle name but if you want to know my first name my first name is actually jason i don't i don't know if i've ever said that before so that is that is odd that is groundbreaking that's groundbreaking stuff right there you heard it first here 
what's my least favorite color? Easily, I can say brown. Brown is just an awful color. I do not like brown. Brown is the color of poop. And I just don't like brown. Like, I see people wearing brown shirts, and I was like, you know, you got poop on your shirt? That's how I feel. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, somebody asked me my address. I'm not giving you out my address, but I will tell you I live in Pennsylvania. I think I've stated that before. Uh, and somebody asked me what my childhood was like. My childhood, I think, was fine. Um, I never really knew my real dad, so that was kind of... Um, kind of a bummer right that's kind of got daddy issues I really don't uh, I never really cared because my stepdad was a uh, he's a pretty cool guy kind of went through alcoholism I feel like I'm sharing a lot with you guys now getting a little too deep but um yeah but he was I mean he was a good guy uh, eventually you know once you, <laughs> once you go to rehab I guess that's what happens um, but um, we lived in Texas at one point and then we moved back to Pennsylvania, which is just an odd jump of states. But um, besides that, I think, you know, I wasn't like beat or like burned or put up for an adoption or anything, you know, or pooped on by random kids on the playground on, you know, a specific date or time every day. Um, so I'd have to say my childhood was fine. Um, and that's about it. That pretty much answers all of your questions at least I think so and I hope so uh, because the video is over as you can tell and um, if I missed any of your questions just let me know uh, because I feel bad if I did but um, I've been talking for 11 and a half minutes a little over now so I'm gonna peace on out and I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned a little bit about zero and I will see you next time so I will say peace oh and leave thumbs ups you know, it always helps me out. So thank you for watching. Peace.